I arrived at 2 o'clock in the morning. In July, the monsoon season, raining heavily. And as soon as I arrived, I was met by the driver. And he said to me, Yeli J, for you, take this. So I opened the bag. He, it was actually a book bag. And in that book bag, there were three items. A torchlight, an umbrella, and a book. <laughs> so I thought, okay, well, you know, maybe I'm like Tom Cruise. This is Mission Impossible, right? At that point, I wanted to call home. I wanted to tell my mom, my family, you know, I'm safe. Don't worry. But instead, I felt like I was like the, a lead actress in, in an action movie or something. <laughs> um, and luckily for me, there was another ITEC scholar from Trinidad, uh, Judan. Uh, she was also in Ahmedabad. And um, you know, we were communicating, exchanging uh, ideas and pictures. And I looked at Judan, and she was having a good time. She was traveling all over. And I looked at myself, and all I saw was these dark circles around my eyes, right? Because my day started from 6 o'clock in the morning, and it finished at 8 o'clock in the night. After that, we had to go into syndicate rooms and we were analyzing case studies and uh, you know, pre uh, preparing for our presentations on the next day. Um, and, and it really felt like a whole lifetime of learning compressed into one month. And even as we left our classrooms, India herself was a university for us. The sounds, the, the fragrances, um, the languages, of course, you know, and being a foreign language enthusiast, just hearing Bengali and Gujarati and Urdu and uh, Marathi, I really felt like I was in my element. Uh, so everything in India taught me something. It, it taught me so much. And while my particular program, I, I think it was exhaustive to say the least, it was also very um, insightful and it was empowering and transformational on so many levels. The iTech program to me, it was as many of my fellow um, iTech scholars said, it was a gateway to meet people from so many countries. To live and learn with people from so many different nations is such a rare opportunity. But I also think that for me, what it was, it was a starting point for peace creation. I came back home with so many, um, so many social competencies like uh, empathy and respect, having learned so much about other cultures and even the challenges that they face in their country as well. So it was so enriching and nourishing to my mind, and I think. Um, when I think of India, you know, there is no other way to describe it than Sari um, Jahase Aksha. Until today, you know, we are in daily contact with our ITEC friends. In fact, one of my friends, Melody from Zimbabwe, she recently had a medical emergency and she had to um, fly into Mumbai. And it was our friends from India who was there with her, like a family. Right? So yes, it's not only about networking and professional exchange, but we also offer support when needed. And recently, I was also invited by a university in Pune, Symbiosis <coughs> University, to conduct a training program for teachers. And it was my batchmates from my course who helped me with all the arrangements. And um, I was really grateful for that. And I really wish that every young person, every young adult, every professional in Trinidad can uh, go to India to pursue higher studies. Um, in fact, a lot of the local uh, iTech alumni, they've said to me, you know, they're all, they can't wait to go back. So I'm very grateful to the Indian High Commissioner for such an enriching opportunity. So um, thank you again, and for the staff at the embassy for the tremendous contribution that you all are making for the cultural, professional and educational development um, of, for the youth in Trinidad through this ITEC program. And of course, we cannot forget the efforts and the encouragement of Dr. Deepak Pandey. So, you have been so 
instrumental in our education, our fascination, and our relationship building with India. And on behalf of the ITEC alumni in Trinidad and Tobago, we sincerely thank you. And uh, if I can just call upon His Excellency, we would like, um, Dr. Pandey, we would like to present you with, right there. <laughs> we would like to present you with a small token to let you know how much we appreciate your effort. Um, you probably don't know, but a lot of buzz has already been happening uh, on social media about Dr. Pandey returning to India. But I would like to let you know that the ITEC alumni, and I'm, well, I'm taking the liberty to speak for the KIP uh, group, um, we will miss you. And we do hope that you return to your home in Trinidad someday. <laughs> and to close, Dr. Pandey, Jo Hamara Jazira, Kabibul Nehi Sakta, Unke Kulos Kelie or Unke Renumai Kelie. Thank you, everyone. Good night.